Well, hey guys, welcome back to another day on Travel with Rick. I know we're doing them every day. This is craziness, all of October. <laughs> I know, we're busy people. It's busy, busy. All right, so we, we are here for another day at Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival, but I'm looking on the table and I see no food and I see no wine. So even though they call it Food and Wine Festival, there's a ton of beer here, but I am not an expert on this. I need help. I'm out of here. Through the magic of the internet, Amanda has appeared for, wow. an another, for another beer episode with Leslie because, you know, we got to keep the tradition rolling. Absolutely. So we have made it to Germany. Love it. The love only, Germany. yeah, love it. Love Epcot. You know, you can go from craft beers to Germany to Mexico to Japan and all, anywhere in between. So um, we're actually here. We have three beers to sample and tell you guys about. Mm -hmm. There's no food at the pavilion that we're at, which is the Brewer's Collection. Mm -hmm. Um, and like I said, there's three light beers that we're going to try today. One of them that's on the menu, which is the uh, Schafferhofer Zitron. The cast member said they had just flown it in from Germany. It's not cold enough to sell yet. They don't want to serve warm beer, which I'm don't like, they drink warm beer in Germany? Yes, they do. I'm but, thinking, go ahead and serve know, it. That's right. The, serve it in El Natural. You yeah. Know? But they did have a replacement beer, and yeah. it was. The cast member told me that it was the most popular beer last year. And it is called the Norbertus Hefeweizen. Okay. okay. So why don't we start with that one? That's this one. The Hefeweizen. So Hefeweizens normally have like a an orange citrusy taste. Yeah, I could see that. Not your favorite? No. No? No. Uh, it's and a, it's, it's, and it's, it's unfiltered? It's, 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 yeah, it's unfiltered. It's mm -hmm. a little bit pale in color. Uh-huh. I know, not your favorites. I'm not big on German beers. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. It's really hot out here today, so. It is refreshing because it is so warm out here. And and when the one thing that I liked about it is last time we were we were over in another place and we were discussing after off camera. Oh yeah, the craft beers. Yeah, yeah the craft yeah. beers, yeah. exactly. And I, I said, you know what's really nice about this is that the beer sizes are nice and small so you can be able to t taste other beers from different places and decide, you know, before you buy a pint or, you know, whatever right. size bottle yeah. that they come in when you go to a brewery, that you can be able to have an idea of what it is. Yeah. Tastes like before you, know, you make a commitment. Oh, yeah. Like a before you do it. <laughs> yeah, before you go all in on it. So, yeah, we'll, we'll say that one's okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe one thumb up instead of two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so our second beer is an unfiltered beer. Okay, and it is a, I'm going to butcher this, Hacker Shore. It's a Hefeweizen. Okay. So why don't you give that one a try okay. and see what you think of that one compared to, oh, it's a Hefeweiss. Hefeweiss? I like it. Not a I like it better than the Norton one. You like that one better? Okay. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> and, and you know what? You may come here and like this beer a lot, yeah. but I go more for like darkers, mm -hmm. IPAs, bitters, stuff like that. So. Yeah, you do. You and do. then our third beer is, let's see here. I have I took a photo of all the taps, so I'm going to pull it up now. This one's really light in color. That kind of looks like the style that you like, Leslie. So you give that one a taste while I'm pulling up what the name of this one is. Ooh, you're not oh, going to like this. This one. is a Radeberger Pilsner. Yeah. And that you said you think that they have this every year. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Because, I mean, even when we, when Rick and I come here to to Epcot, I often stop here in Germany and get the, Ra the Radenberger. Is that what you call it? Yeah. yeah. Radeberger. Because yeah. it's it's a it's one that's always usually here. I don't know about this particular one, but that brand is here. Yeah. And um, so if you want to do like a food pairing with your beer, uh, this booth is located next to the African Outpost. So you could get like, uh, I think they have a buttered chicken, chicken there. And then also in Germany, um, they've got the, it's like a ham and cheese noodle and an apple strudel. And also oh, yes. Rick's favorite, meat and tube form on a pretzel roll. So wow. those would go really well with yeah. these if you want to pair them with these. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that would be good. And then another thing is that this year they don't have the pair, I mean, not the pairings, but the there's flights. No, yeah, there's no flight here, guys. So yeah. you're basically just gonna have to pay $4 for, I think, I wanna say this is a four ounce pour. I'm not 100% positive, but um, when you're with friends, it's fine, you know, yeah. so you, you can get all three. Yeah. yeah. Or in this case, four. I guess they're technically going to have four different beers here, even though there's only three on the menu. So you're hearing it here first. The secret menu is the Nordberg that they brought. It's the most popular pour that they had here from last year, and they brought it back this year. Cast members said they have 250 kegs. I don't know how long it'll last, so you got to get yourself here in a jiffy. Hurry, hurry. Yes. 
All right, and one more quick thing, Amanda. Remember, our passport has changed this year. No yes. stamps. And so since you are the guest, here, find yes. the Brewers oh, collection and add that sticker Yay. there. This year we have stickers instead of stamps. You guys, this is so smart because people were waiting in line and because they wanted stamps for their passport. Wow. So this year they can do it that's themselves. So it'll kind of keep the lines from getting clogged up. So yeah, that's Great. something yeah. new that they're doing this year. Stick it on there, man. Stick it on. Do it for Brewers. Oh, Brewers collection. Right here. See? Yep, okay. yep, got it, got it. And then I gotta so find it. We still be the other way. We still, yeah. It's gonna be in there a little bit more in the back. Maybe they are they not in alphabetical order? They are no, not. no, Brewers Collection. There we go. So, All right. See that right there? So guess adds a stamp. Not upside down, or maybe, depending on how many beers you've had. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Rick's coming back in. All right, guys. So uh, that's going to wrap up today. We're about halfway around. I'm going to look straight over now and see the geosphere over there. So that means we're making our way around the backside of the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. We got lots more marketplaces to show you, lots more food and wine to talk about, probably some more beer too. A lot of great friends coming up. So don't miss a single day on Travel with Rick. And if you do miss a day, just go back to the blog. You can find it, right? So you can find us on YouTube, you can find us on travelwithrick.com, and of course, facebook.com slash travelwithrick. Everything is there every day. Check it out. Don't miss a day. And if you see us around World Showcase, ah, oh, that's an even bigger bonus. Come up and say hi. We Let's get a photo. We got pins and buttons. We love to Be meet cool. you. We, we love, love to, to meet you, you guys. Yeah. All right, so we got more to film. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. You never know where we're going to be. Well, you know where we're going to be. We're going to be right there. <laughs> and you never know who's going to be here. And you don't know what we're going to be eating or drinking. Could be not beer, but food and wine for sure. All right, guys. So long. See you tomorrow on another episode of Travel with Rick. So long, everybody. So long.